Back at it again uh, with Coach Linus Road. Coach, we had a great weekend of soccer here. We got a tie and a win on Senior Day. If you would just kind of sum up uh, the two contests this past weekend at Lorenz Field. Overall, it was a good weekend for us. Friday, getting a, a tie against Arizona State, um, you know, was, was, I think, a fair result. We had a number of good opportunities in the second half and in overtime that were really, really close. You know, at the same time, I think ASU also created uh, some, some good opportunities. So, um, you know, I think coming out of that match with, uh, with a tie is uh, something that we can deal with. Um, and then on Sunday against Arizona, you know, getting that win uh, was a lot of fun. You know, I think for us as a group, uh, definitely for the players um, to get that kind of a result, um, you know, 5-1 is, is something that doesn't happen that often. And uh, I think it gives us a lot of confidence going into this weekend, uh, especially on the attacking side of things. In fact, uh, the two goals apiece from Jenna Richardson and, and Megan Miller. Megan actually had an assist, so nine points on the day between the two of them. Didn't know if you knew this, but uh, most points scored since 2010, November of 2010, when Jenna Richardson and Courtney Wetzel combined for nine points. So um, on the sidelines, was it something fun to watch there, seeing you know Jenna scores two, Megan says, well, I'm going to answer right back, and scores another two. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You know, From the sidelines, I think everybody was enjoying it. It was nice to get up on the board uh, early in the match and just to see the flurry of attacks that we created. Uh, it was really fun to watch. You know, I think our attacking players, um, you know, or if you want to call them our flair players, were really on it. Uh, they were all clicking, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. Indeed it was, and also a, a solid in goal yet again. Sammy Joe um, leads the conference in uh, saves per match average. Uh, what can you say about her and her freshman season, what she's brought uh, to the table and the team? Well, Sammy's been outstanding. She's, like I said before, she always makes the, if you want to call them the standard saves, the saves that she should make, but then she always pulls out some really um, game-saving um, stops that, that need to happen in order for us to stay in the game. So as a freshman, she shows so much uh, poise, so much uh, ability, uh, maturity of an upperclassman and uh, she's only going to get better and better and you know it's exciting to, to think what her potential is. Speaking of potential I know earlier on in the year saw a lot of potential uh, from the team uh, after the best start in program history hit a little bit of a rough stretch with some very tough teams D does it sort of help now being in this stretch of the schedule um, toward the end having really played those tough teams and really gone through those tough tests earlier on? I think it does. You know, I think that um, playing the away for the first few weekends of conference against, if you want to call them, the, the, the right now the teams that are at the top of the conference was definitely a challenge, um, you know, because going from preseason play to now you're stepping up against, you know, number one or number two in the country uh, is challenging. And I think it um, gave us an opportunity to learn about our strengths and weaknesses as a team and what we need to do to move forward. Uh, you know, I think the next stretch of games here is, is going to be um, important, um, not only for us, but for the teams we're playing. Um, but I think having those games under our belt at this point definitely helps us in this last run of uh, three games. All right, well, let's get to the task at hand. We have Washington State on Friday in Pullman and then Washington in Seattle on, uh, on Sunday. Um, what about those opponents are you going to be um, expecting to see when you take the pitch? Well, I think both games are going to be very physical, um, very um, emotional. You know, every year it's the same way when we play against the, the Washington schools. And traveling on the road, you know, is a challenge in, in and of itself. So, um, you know, we met with the team yesterday and they know that um, they need to be up for the challenge and um, be able to, to get after it. Okay, and, and kind of a, a bit of irony, you're going to be in Washington uh, the same time the football team is with the, the football game. Are you going to be able to catch uh, any of the game or go to it? Unfortunately not. You know, we've, we were going over that back and forth. You know, it's a late kickoff, and um, we don't want to have the group out there. Um, you know, you're looking at 1130, midnight, getting home, and it just doesn't make a lot of sense for what we need to do the next day. Um, so, yeah, we're a little bit disappointed about that. Um, but we just have to move on. But I'm sure they'll be able. To, they'll, I'm sure they will be watching it on TV. All right. Yeah. Nonetheless, uh, supporting the uh, the other team of Beavers here uh, at Oregon State. So we look forward to a win from the football team, a win from the football team, <laughs> if you will, the soccer team, 
um, on Sunday as well. So congrats uh, on the, the homestand, and we look forward to talking to you when you get back. Thank you.